And this is Jeff with the Valhalla Ventures, ReedGuideService.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-V-I-C.com. It's hard saying that every time. So I don't see all the other social media video stuff that you're supposed to say. Anyway, I am here in the work truck. I posted a picture of it. It is not my primary truck. It is just a temporary truck to go get some work done. That way I don't mess up my own truck. That's my little curly sticking out of the back of my hat there. Can't help it. That is just what it is. So what I wanted to talk about today was, man, that light is making my beard look magnificent. Um, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about all these people that are like, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to give up? I mean, they're right. You gotta be willing to give up a lot and you gotta be willing to do a lot to be able to be successful at anything. Mildly successful, you gotta give up a little bit, right? Like you just gotta be a little bit mildly successful. I got curly cues, driving me nuts. Um, you gotta be, you know, give up a little bit. There's only so much time. There's 24 hours in a day. So in order to do this, you have to give up that, right? So you can't have it all if you just have this giant list of ridiculous stuff that's, you know, a bunch of time consuming crap. So you can't say, well, listen, I want to be a full-time parent and I also want to, you know, be a full-time investor um, and then I also want to do a lot of the DIY uh, projects and be a contractor and I want to do all that kind of stuff. You can't, you can't have it all. You cannot be it all. Um, and so that means you're going to have to give up some stuff. What are you willing to give up? How much of your time? How much of your energy? How much of your life, your children's lives? And all of those things because there's going to be a certain level of requirement to give up. You, you know, have to give to give and you know all that kind of stuff like that um so my question is how much are you willing to give up because i can tell you if i would have been given the list of all the stuff i would have to give up and how much time energy imagination information all this would have taken i don't know if i would have done all this i don't know if this is the journey that i would have chosen knowing the amount of shit that comes with it but what happens is, is I got into it and I found a little niche where I could make some money, which was contracting. That's how I got started, of course. Um, and I was doing that. And I then kind of fell into doing investing by watching other people invest and being hired by investors and being asked to go speak at events uh, for investors as an expert in construction. and then you know the markets watching them go up and down and watching how people make excuses no matter what the market's doing and I was just like I think I can do this and so even with all of the experience of being a general contractor for years and years and years it still was a lot of work and I had to give up a lot of stuff and even though uh, you give up being a general contractor uh, to just be an investor there's still a lot of time and I have luckily found a very nice balance I only do what I want to do uh, I flip the amount of properties that I want. It has to be a perfect deal for me. I'm not desperate, you know, so if I only do two or three deals a year, that's cool. If I do 10 deals a year, that's cool. Um, I'm just building my legacy and my portfolio at this point. And so, is it worth it in the end, everything I did? Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, would I have done it if someone would have told me everything that was involved? Probably not. Um, just because, uh, you know, as a kid when I started this, I had no idea what the hell I was doing or, you know, I just I just wanted to make money easy. I didn't want to didn't want to work my whole life. And honestly, I just don't feel like I'm working. I really enjoy the problem solving. I, I like the fact that I take care of things that other people give up on. I like making sure that people get top quality product, whether it is I'm inspecting for them or I'm, you know, providing the product myself as the investor. I like it. I enjoy it it's fun for me so that's why it's like you know I don't play golf I don't watch football or baseball or hockey I don't really do anything like that I ride motorcycles a little bit I fix up houses I spend time with my kids that's really all I do at this point and it's quite lovely maybe it's not for everybody maybe you don't want to bust knuckles whenever you're my age but whatever do what makes you happy but don't sacrifice and all that stuff and give up of yourself for something that you don't even really want in the end. Because if someone would have told me back in the day to get where I am now, 
I would have had to go through everything I've gone through, I probably would have said nah. But if you really explain to me what all I have now, I mean, how could you not? It's a blessing. So be blessed, bless others. Have a beautiful day. If there's anything I can do to help you, uh, besides just some motivational BS or even just some motivational BS, <laughs> feel free to reach out. Reguideservice.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-V-I-C-E.com. Um, yeah, have a great day and stuff.